it's, I mean, at the moment, it's a bit too soon to tell. Um, I mean, one of the short, one of the problems of the CBP is that it sees, um, it recognizes that it has to appeal to the youth. But during the election campaign, that basically took the form of playing pro-government techno music and maneuvering a few sons of the leaders into positions of power. They didn't really do much to directly address the concerns of young people. Um, potentially, it could be a positive thing to have young blood, but. Um, I mean, a lot of people put a lot of hope in the fact that a lot of these young individuals have been educated overseas and that therefore they might contract sort of the uh, 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 inclination towards more democratic forms of government. But I mean, I, in the 1990s, most of the Funzenbeck leadership that arrived and, and took positions of power in the, in the coalition government in 1993, they were educated, they were um, nuclear engineers, lawyers, highly educated individuals, and they were probably more corrupt than the CPP. Um, and, and more, you know, and just as uh, intolerant of pluralism and democracy. So, well, and whether it, it helps the CPP to regenerate and to maintain its hold on power, uh, again, I think it's a bit too soon to say. I mean, these individuals might blossom into capable political leaders, but as again, Prince Ranarud shows, being the son of a political titan like um, Prince Sihanouk was, uh, does not necessarily guarantee that those, uh, those those gifts, those political gifts are not necessarily hereditary.